G'day guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. Hopefully you guys are doing good, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Okay, so for today's video, what I wanted to do, which was pretty much what I mentioned in my previous video. If you guys haven't watched that, please go watch the previous video. But um, this base, I've had this since, what, day one? <clears throat> I think maybe day one, day two, I'm not too sure. Actually... Probably day two, because I think I, I hit over the, at the Joey Hughes cars a lot for the first night. But um, I think I sort of settled on this base when I found it, and I was quite happy to sort of keep it, you know, as it is. But fast forward to day 33, so 32 days thereafter, I have not done a single thing to the bottom section aside from making my um, my little base up top here and I feel kind of bad in a way but also I feel like it's actually time to do something about this and this is what I'm go going to do I've got so much um, now I've got all pretty much all um, vehicles of transport in um, in my inventory um, upstairs but I'll, I've also got the um, the 4x4 which is sitting out here but what I hate doing is I hate parking this thing around the back it just looks crummy it looks pretty bad it just looks eh I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to gut this place so this is basically what I'm going to do for this video here I'm going to gut the hell out of the popping bills and to the point where I've only got a nice canvas to sort of work with and what I'm thinking about is I'm not too sure if I've actually got the actual schematic yet for it, or if I've got the ability to, to do this, but let's have a look. So, I can make the the steel garage door, so the motor, the powered version. So, I should be able to do that without a problem. I think I've got a generator upstairs. I, don't, I can't make it. I know I can't, but... Um, battery bank here we go I can't even make the battery bank so I think I've got some of the, one of the, at least one of a one of each lying somewhere I'm not too sure exactly but if not <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna take a long time for me to find everything but I can make the door which is the, the biggest part here and then basically what I'm gonna do here is pretty much fortify the hell out of this base and that's basically what where I'm sort of at for everything at the moment. Now I figured that'd probably be a good video just to sort of get everything underway, build everything out, and at least this way I sort of take you guys along with me on this little journey here that we've got. And yeah, pretty much that's where we're where, uh, where we're at with things with today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start breaking everything. And like I said, I think I, I mentioned this in my previous video as well. Is I actually made um, I sort of. Uh, mapped it out in my test world where I found another pop and pills are identical to this one and pretty much we sort of went to town with it and I pretty much got everything cleared out which worked out well I was I'm concerned I was concerned actually of a few things when I was sort of um, uh, looking into it was the supports of the base um, you know if I were to sort of break, break open up the supports basically these pillars are in here this is what I was sort of concerned about. If I was going to break up a, a series of them, or some of them, or maybe all of them, uh, will it fall, or will it crumble under me? Um, and safe to say, when I did this, it didn't break. So I was actually quite happy with that result. So basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to replicate that to an extent. Um, this I find really perfect, because this is where the, the roll door is going to sit. And at least this way I've got like a little entry point here that I can sort of walk in and basically, you know, um, pretty much um, roll in and... Oh, do I have a wandering horde? Do I have a wandering horde? I think I've got a wandering horde. Yep, uh, yep, 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 yep. Of course, as soon as I want to... Is that a screamer? I think that's a screamer. Which makes all the sense in the world. So we're going to have to deal with these guys now. And the streamer. Bloody hell. Where oh, where did you go? There you are. You paint in my sight. Seriously. Seriously. I hope you didn't call anyone else in. That's, that's going to be an absolute... 
Oh, okay. I think, I think we're okay. And then what I was thinking is, yeah, so pretty much break it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm glad you're, you're down there and I'm up here. <laughs> yeah, you absolute pain. I hope there's not a horde of these things because I'll be really, really, really annoyed. But, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, a nice little segue into, um, you know, total and utter chaos with everything. Yeah, there's more. There's more. Where are you guys? Where are you? Honestly. Are you in, you're in here, aren't you? Hello? There you are. Just clock you out. Anyway, so we're just going to go in and, and just start pretty much breaking apart the place. You know what? I could use some of these as storage, but I'm going to actually, I've got another idea for them. So I'm going to break them all apart and I actually thought about doing it that way, but I don't like the look of it. So anyway, and I don't want it to be looked at as an empty pill case. I don't know. I think that's just for me, my, um, you know, for my aesthetic placement. I think that's what I'm sort of looking at here just sort of worried about that kind of thing but yeah that's pretty much where I'm looking at and then obviously for the uh, the perimeter of the base um, the uh, all the what do you call it uh, all the the flagstone which I think that it is um, I'm going to sort of um, uh, upgrade it to like reinforced concrete is that empty that's empty okay cool cool not a problem so yeah pretty much that's what we're going to do today and then it's actually gonna look good when it's all cleared out and everything um, it's it's actually going to look really, really, really nice, and this way I can sort of park everything up accordingly, and then basically from here we can, um, you know, sort of have like a little bit of a thorough way coming in and out here, and then pretty much, yeah, just sort of leave it as it is, and yeah, and then this way what I was thinking as well, um, while I'm thinking about it, uh, somewhere here or here, I'm not too sure where I'm going to do it yet. Um, I'm going to have to sort of consult upstairs and sort of work out how I'm going to sort of do it. But I'm going to have sort of like a walkway going up. And then this way um, I can walk up upwards to the, the top part of the base. So like a, like a second story, if you will. So yeah, that's um, that's basically where I'm sort of at with all of that. Um, oh yeah, also, um, as you can see, um, I've got a couple of new additions to the family. One I'm actually currently using. Um, I sort of spent... A, I probably shouldn't have done it, but I've done it anyway, so it is what it is. But I have specced into the um, minus 69, or was it mother load? I think it's mother load. Uh, let's go back into here. Do, 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 do. Strength tree, minus 69. So yeah, I went into, I invested a couple of points into it, and probably shouldn't have done it because I was, what I was really wanting to do was kind of hold out for. Um, uh, a loot drop or maybe the possibly the trader would have had it and I would have just bought um, my iron um, axe and also the pickaxe that I've got here but it's going to aid me and it's going to be something that I really really need um, you know right now so um, unfortunately the my impatience got the best of me and yeah that's pretty much where it's at so yeah look I'm, I, I really honestly don't care so at this point in time I may as well just do it and get it over and done with, and at least this way I can sort of, um, uh, you know, uh, clear this out in a timely manner. But not only just for this, but for anything else that I'm doing throughout the game as well. And it's just quicker access to everything. And I can break down this without a problem and just sort of start clearing things out, you know, as quick as possible. So let's let's go ahead and check this out. So it's a, it's a two-hit wonder for most things, which is bloody awesome. Um, I haven't actually maxed it all out um, either weapon yet, so I think I've got one more mod slot between them. I think I might keep that sign up there. I think that's kind of cool. I'm actually going to keep the vending machine as it is. I think it's actually a nice little touch. And uh, yeah, so we'll leave that there. And then what I was thinking possibly... What I was thinking possibly up here, um, I might put the lockers... Um, hang on, if I could spell or... If I can find them properly, storage. I think I might have to go up to the workbench and do them, but I was thinking about putting the storage lockers up here or something. And I think that might be a nice touch. I think that might be a, a nice way. Ooh, search, what am I? Oh, don't, I'm not worried about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so 
that is what I am looking at doing. So as we're sort of, you know, ch chugging along here, I think I'm actually making some good time with this as well. And I'm actually two-shotting these things, which is good. Um, in my test world, I actually found um, an auger, so I tried to use that. I also had a, um, a level 5 steel axe as well, but I think this steel axe is working a lot better than, than in my test world. So, plus I'm not actually at the same level as I am in my test world compared to my, to my Let's Play world here. So, I think, you know, other perks are sort of working in there in my sort of... Uh, benefit right now, which is um, what I really want at the end of the day, which is amazing. Uh, so pretty much that is good. That is good. I'm thinking about keeping this here. I'm not sure. I don't know. Again, this is just me looking at the aesthetic side of things. So I don't know. You tell me. But with this, I'm actually going to be receiving quite a bit of um, iron, which is obviously helpful and beneficial to me as well. Something that I um, do need. I do have a bit of iron, but you know, you can never have enough iron at the end of the day. So that's pretty much why we're, you know, we're sort of breaking these things apart, which is great. Um, but yeah, so um, day 35. So we're getting close to that. But what I'm thinking, maybe possibly next video, um, I might want to do a bit of a scavenger run. Just in the search for things like um, schematics, mods, things like that. So what I was thinking is I'm actually going to venture out um, probably from here. This is where I did it in my, um, in, in one of my, in my test world here. Traveled across. And we've got pretty much all the wasteland over here. Yeah, so pretty much what I'm thinking about is doing a bit of, of a, um, a trip. I'm probably going to take out the motorcycle. I think that's probably going to be the best way in doing that. And just ensuring that I, I can sort of get across to places in a quickly and timely manner. I mean, I'd love to take the 4x4, but, the, but you know, in all seriousness and, re and being realistic about things, the 4x4 is a um, is a slug compared to the motorcycle. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm sort of looking at with things um, in that respect there. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, come next video, um, I can, you know, set a quest out and we can just sort of go and visit the other traders because I know there's two more that I haven't actually seen or visited yet. So, who knows what they've got. And I think this will fit in well with the um, uh, with the next day as well because day 34 is when all the traders are going to restock. So at least um, I sort of start afresh, I guess. And I didn't want to sort of run a trip, you know, twice in, in a day or, you know, in a space of 24 hours, you know, game time wise. So, you know, I'd rather do other things like this. So I sort of made a judgment call on that and pretty much, um, you know, started up this and just sort of doing some, um, you know, home renovations, if you will, a bit of DIY, DIY action. And I think hopefully you guys should have, you know, hopefully you guys would appreciate this, um, you know, finally doing something with my base. So that's basically the biggest reasoning behind everything. I really wanted to do something with my base. And now finally that I've got a, a bit of a game plan, you know, it's going to work out well. I think it's going to be good because I did consider um leaving the base and i had no idea where i wanted to go and i don't know it was just really 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 annoying and i didn't want to sort of uproot and then basically find a new place for me to you know uh, call home and then go through the process of moving day moving things and things like that because i was actually going to do that a lot earlier into this let's play but i didn't have any um I didn't have I didn't have a mini bike. I didn't have a, a motorbike. I didn't even have the four by four. So it's so, I sort of you know nested here, and pretty much that's where we're at with things. So finally that I can um, that I've actually thought about this, and I'm actually glad in the sense that I can um, open this baby up, and um, yeah, we can actually have a place that we can sort of call home. Here comes another bloody hell. All right, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm actually hungry. So I'm just going to quickly eat a few of these things before she makes her way over. Let's just get the stamina up and let's just go ahead and scrap that. Fix this up. All right. Where is she? There she is. All right. Shush. Shush. 
Did that. Yeah. Well, okay. Ah, oh, hello, Fido. No, you do not nip at me. Jesus. Bad Fido. Alright, come on, guys. Gonna have to deal with you guys sooner or later. Ooh. How could I get something good out of that? Let's have a look. Um, baseball parts. Not bad. You know, I'll take it. I mean, I've got my baseball bat. I'm happy with him, but hey. If something like that comes along, I'm not going to say no to it. And I'm just, I'll just take it. Uh, why the hell not? Who else is around here? Come on, guys. Ah, a few of you boys. Uh, hanging out with the boys. Anyone else? Oh, I'm going to have to do a sweep. Not something that I wanted to do, but hey. Um, Alright, I think we're good. I think I might actually um, break some of these open as well. I don't know if I should have been wrenching these. Oh well, it doesn't matter. And I think these are iron bars as well. Yeah, they are. Oh my god. I'm, okay, you guys aren't going to have to worry about that. But basically, um, yeah, I'm just going to break open this because I don't think I really need these things now. Just sort of make it a little bit more unified. Leave the front as it is, I think. And probably take these away as well, obviously. Yep, okay, cool. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to do some reno in here as well and work out what I want to do. I don't know whether or not do I... Um, do I break down this wall? Do I keep it? I'm not too sure. I might make it like a little walkway, I can, like a door that I can access in and out kind of thing. Might do that. Um, here, this is all going to go for sure. So I'm going to gut all this, because obviously this has, you know, let's face it, the structural integrity of um, a piece of paper in the whole grand scheme of things when you sort of consider zombies into the mix. So, yeah. So we're going to fix that up and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I want to break this and make it flat. I might actually end up doing that as well. So yeah, just a few little bits and pieces. Should I make a back door? Hmm. Should I make a back door? That is interesting. So I've already busted this open, let's be honest. And then basically what I can do here is I'll just open up this and then I think this is my five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. You know what? I think I might do something like that. Yeah, why not? Then that means this will have to go because I'm going to need a bit of space for, um, for my... Um, well, for the 4x4 really, I don't I, I don't think the mini bike will have a problem or anything like that, but um, yeah, actually that's not a bad idea. Um, there you go, I didn't even do that or consider that when I was doing that in my test world, so why the hell not? Um, so it's going to take some time, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's going to take a bit of time, I'm going to need a bit of resources. What I'm thinking about all the holes that I need to plug up, I'm going to go straight to reinforce concrete, so I'm going to need some rebar frames. Things like that, so that's not going to be a problem, and um, and then I'm going to have to go around upgrading everything else. So I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got the cobblestone to go up to uh, cobblestone bricking as well, because I think these things are flagstones as, as it is anyway. So don't think that should be a problem. But the main objective here today is I just want to give you guys a bit of a leading impression on how I sort of want everything to be done, and hopefully you guys, you know, um, will sort of get the general gist of why I've sort of doing it the way that I'm doing it so yeah that's pretty much the only reason why I'm just sort of gutting everything out as you can see and yeah it's cool I mean I, I kind of like doing you know your, your DIY sort of thing renovations and all that sort of stuff you know sort of taking an existing thing and just sort of making it a little bit different you know I, I kind of like that so sort of repurposing things so that's you know the major reason why I sort of wanted to do it in the first place and who knows I you know do I keep upstairs or do I bring everything downstairs? Who knows? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, everything is endless. And it's up to you how you sort of want to do it, you know? So, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, my thought process behind that. Uh, let's get rid of those and those. Okay. So, what I did was I kind of went around everything here. And I sort of just broke down the tops and the bottoms. Um... Yeah, for the most part. I was sort of mucking about with them first. I, I sort of went, um, I sort of broke this midsection out throughout the whole place and then sort of had a look at 
the the major you know left the mate the the load bearing actually that's a better way of saying it the um yeah so i sort of left all load bearing um uh what do you call it p uh, poles in place just to see how it sort of would hold up if it broke or anything like that and it, and it was fine it didn't so i sort of went a little bit more then a little bit more then a little bit more and yeah and it sort of got to the point where i thought you know what i can just sort of get away with four main supports and then i went even further than that and i, I broke down the lock so i thought you know what that, that was pretty cool and then yeah that's the way i sort of went upon it and it sort of worked out well for me Oops, no, 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 break that. Break that, okay. Trying not to break anything as I go along in it as well, so... Um, just sort of try and keep the integrity of the floor mainly. Oops, there, I, I say that and then I, I hit the wall. Uh, the floor. <laughs> so, yeah. Sort of try and keep it in place. And it's sort of, it's sort of you know, pre-decorated. I've got tiles being painted on here, which is kind of neat. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue on, and I'll just sort of break down this part here. Boom, and boom. Oop. And let's just move over here. And then basically I just sort of broke out this, and just sort of saved me breaking down the full of that. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll sort of break down this one here. Boom. And we'll just continue on breaking this fella. Okay, and this. Man, I'm so glad that I actually upgraded to the level 5 uh, axe and pickaxe. Best decision. It had to happen. You know, I was kind of hoping that I was just going to find these things out in the wild kind of thing. But, you know, look, it just, it wasn't meant to be. So, what do you do? It is what it is. So, you know, move on and um yeah just continue on with everything else all right and this is what i was sort of worried about with with this base here if i was going to do this i've got the base upstairs does it sort of um uh increase the load bearing capacity that i need to put more supports in because i've got something up there i'm not too sure so this was all things that i wanted to consider before you know i sort of made the plunge but considering that i broke out all everything all all these poles it was all gutted in my in my other test world. Uh, it sort of just it worked out, but I didn't have anything upstairs, and that was the only concern. So this is where we're at now. Let's just break this down. Let's just break him. Perfect. Oops. Ah, I miss these things. Boom. And come on. Boom. Oops. Again. All right. So yeah. Okay. Let's walk out. So here we are, I've got a vehicle, driving, 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 oh, here's home, and then basically, boom, here we go. And then here we come. And then what I can do is I can either park them in here, I can do a bit of a reverse parking because I've got, you know, the space to play around with. Like I said, I can put some lockers up here. And the reason why that I want to put lockers up here is that I could have stuff that I'm going to take with me. And I figured, you know, I could have a bay for, say, the 4x4, a bay for the motorcycle a bay for you know mini bike um what you would call it bicycle if i ever get desperate for whatever reason if i had to use it for some you know stupid apparent reason and then what i might do is see how that's sort of blocked up here and i've got the um i've got this little crevice here i should be able to just replicate that and just put some stuff up here just sort of make it look a little bit more you know unified and flush and whatnot so yeah and then i could always make the back door here so I can always do that if I really wanted to. Because why the hell not? Because I can just sort of make it and... And then I've just got more of a, a unification. I've can got a nice thorough way. If I'm coming from a different a um, different area. Yeah, I, I actually really like that idea. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be the next thing. But the, the other process is, is just making sure everything else here is all... Um, you know, sound and um, not, you know, in a state where even though that I've gutted this area, um, I won't have any sort of visitors coming across and things like that and just sort of trying to hassle me. So I guess that's pretty much where I'm at with things now. So it's just basically now I'm going to have to start plugging things up, I think. Yeah, so 
So what do you think guys? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'll be interested to know what your thoughts are about this. Um, I might do some building off camera and just sort of from some structural integrity and things like that. It is sort of starting to get closer to, um, to the evening. So yeah, I'm going to have to sort of uh, put my builder's cap on and just start doing things off cam. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Um, do you like it? Do you don't? I don't know. Let me know. I'll be interested to know your thoughts about this. But with that being said and done, oh yeah, and also I'll probably go ahead and maybe bust out some of these um, non-functional uh, lights. And I'll probably put some lights in here just to sort of, you know, dress up the place. So yeah, and it, Again, as I said, these are going to be all the uh, the finer things, all the one percenters later on. But anyway, guys, appreciate you stopping by as always. As I said, be sure to hit the like button, uh, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. And please share my 7 Days to Die videos. It will really help me out. Just want to get my exposure out there. Just to want you guys to enjoy and if you've got other people that might enjoy my content as well let them know let them know who i am and um yeah uh that's all i can really ask for but that's it that's going to go ahead and um leave it here for today um let me just grab some of this here because that looks a little bit on the icky side as it is i like a clean aesthetic and i've got to get rid of that too but that's pretty much it. She looks so bare at the moment, but you know, hopefully soon we'll have everything sorted out. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Take it easy and I shall catch you next time.